Hey everybody, and uh, welcome to Joe's room. Uh, thanks for hanging in for the first week. This is the third episode at the end of the first full week. Uh, I know I've had some uh, problems with the echo earlier, but I fixed those. I have to turn the monitor down. Um, but yeah, it's just been you know a pretty good, pretty good time spending time with you guys. You know, it's this has always kind of you know been been an interest of mine. Um, something I've yeah. you know yeah. wanted to do, do for years. years. So, so, um, thanks, thanks for being here with me. Especially, you know, during, during this, it's, it's, it's a hard time. time. Uh, uh, not, not easy on anybody, anybody really. So, so yeah, yeah, I mean, it's it's, it's, it's gonna, gonna get good. good. It's, it's gonna, gonna get great. great. Um, I'm really excited, excited. Especially, especially for tonight. We got a huge. Friday, Friday episode for, for you. you. We got, we got Ryan, Ryan Nyquist. Stay, Stay on the line, everybody. Guys, I'm excited. I was just joking. I have good audio. I think I'm sending out. Turn the mic on. Now it's definitely on. Um, cool, guys. So we have Mr. Ryan Nyquist with us today, who is the head coach of the Freestyle USA Olympic BMX team. Um, I met him a while ago at summer camp. I, uh, I, I, was, in a, I was in a group of, uh, I was in a, a band. And I asked Ryan, because he was, you know, a very famous uh, athlete. I said, Ryan, will you be sponsored by my band? And he said, yes, which was a dream. So we sort of found our way uh, into each other's lives like that. We actually had a, I went deep into the hard drives and found an amazing commercial that we made with our team at the time. Um, I believe it's edited by Bill Benz and it's starring Mike Giambra. Um, so let's take a look at that now. This is one of those films... You know, it's one of those films where you're like, I don't know when there's going to be a time again when you can kind of make something like this. Um, it's a, just a different time, but uh, let's look back and, and enjoy it. I love to play! Yo, 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 what up, dog? Team Ryder! Ben Heddle! Win. Ryan Nyquist. Nate Ryan. Awesome. Well, uh, yeah, Ryan. I'm so excited. I'm so I'm so excited that he uh, wanted to be on the show. That when I saw him, I hadn't seen him in a while. I just said happy birthday, and it's not his birthday. I was just excited. Um, and you know, we we talked a lot about sports, the Olympics, uh, and you know, transitioning different stuff with. Uh, you know, COVID and all that. Uh, yeah, it, it was a great interview and such a wise guy. And I'm honored to have a legend on the show. Let's, uh, let's watch it. Yo, happy birthday. <laughs> how you doing, Ryan? What's up? So how did everything get involved uh, with the Olympics? And how long have you been sort of working with those folks on getting that uh, achievable? So basically, um... When the word kind of went out that it might be uh, something Olympics might be adding, um, mm -hmm. I kind of hit them up, um, just kind of cold called or cold emailed them and just was like, hey, you know, uh, if this thing gets added, we're going to have like two and a half years to really get our sport organized in a way that's going to be suitable for us to be in the Olympics. So if you guys need any resources or whatever, like feel free to hit me up. And so I just wanted to make sure that there's people available for resources that could like kind of steer it in the right direction in a fairly quick amount of time. So uh, for me in the US, I was just like, well, you know, lean on me, you know, whatever it is. And then, you know, like I, I didn't really get involved in the coaching side until um, probably 2017 at the world championships. And I just uh, kind of hopped in there because I knew that it might be something that I might be interested in, but I'd never really coached outside of like maybe just, you know, at like Woodward, which it wasn't yeah. really coaching, it was more like just instruction. Kind of same, same, but different. 
Which is, yeah, uh, we met at Woodward, Camp Woodward. Yeah, yeah right? Look at this. Look at now we're just talking like 20 years later. <laughs> it's crazy, right? But yeah, so I hopped in with the women, uh, kind of just helping them out with their runs or trick selection or whatever it was and found like a lot of enjoyment um, out of just trying to pass along a lot of the knowledge I learned. And then uh, eventually they uh, asked me if I wanted to do the men's side too. And um, so I jumped into that and, cool. and now I'm the official head coach of the USA, you know, BMX freestyle team. Basically when, when things sort of... Uh, covid sort of popped up what do we know now mm -hmm. like what's your game plan for do they do we ha there's no date correct correct on the on the reset or no? yeah nothing yet they just 2021 um so we're just kind of waiting to hear that so everything's kind of on hold um everything's pushed back you know so like uh as far as the athletes and stuff it was a little bit of adjustment because everybody had that date on you know on the calendar on their mind their training schedules were kind of set up to be you know kind of peaking at that point and um, everybody's just geared up to be ready for, you know, basically, uh, July and August of this year and then got pushed back. So there's like small adjustments, but for the most part on our side, everybody's doing good. The COVID stuff is a bummer. Cause I'd say most of our athletes have a place to ride, but some of them don't. And so it's been, it, I mean, it's disrupting everybody's lives and, you know, the athletes are no different. I don't know. It's just, it's messed up a lot of stuff in this world. And unfortunately, you know, people are getting sick and the silver line for me is I'm actually home. I was traveling a lot there. So I'm good to be home with my family. Yeah, and you're a dad. You have a couple kids, right? Three, three boys. Three. Whoa, magic yeah. number. That's, that's why I'm wearing this cool hat because it's just a party over here, nonstop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my thing with COVID is like I do, I haven't touched my bike because I'm afraid of breaking my ankle and having to go. I'm just yeah. afraid of slipping up. Is have you been able to train and and do your your regimen, or are you are you riding more carefully? Think with that stuff in mind, or the teammates doing that sort of thing. Yeah, it doesn't seem like people are really kind of chilling out as far as the team. In the back of my head, I'm sure it's there. You know, nobody wants to get hurt, especially now. You don't you know if the hospital is a place where it can be a hotbed for this stuff, then you try to stay away. But um, for me, you know, I have like a nice setup in my backyard. So I have some ramps. I got like a pump track. I got like a little 50cc dirt bike that we carved a little path through the woods. So, yeah. um, so I'm I'm just having fun myself over here, trying to keep myself occupied and just you know social media, doing little clips and posts here and there. But um, going into the Olympics, do coaches get medals? Are you gonna get? Are you gonna? Would you get a medal if uh, if they golded? How does that work? No, I get a big pat on the back and then some job security. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. But you know, it's like I've I've had great success in BMX, whether it be X Games or whatever event. So. If I can help these younger riders get to a level that will help them help our sport, you know, like that's, that's, that'd be amazing, you know, and then if I can continue doing something I love for a living, then, you know, I feel like everybody wins. I mean, what, have you, what are you excited about outside of the Olympics now that everything's kind of pushed over, you know? Yeah. So, I mean, my, my wife and I do own like a gym. It's, uh, it's called Amplify Cycle and Strength. And uh, that actually has been affected with the COVID because we were a physical gym and now we're trying to like convert into a digital gym. So we have a Facebook group called uh, Amplify VIP Backstage and we're just posting like a lot of workouts on there for people to do it. So if anybody's interested, you know, definitely check that out. It's thrown a lot of wrench in the spokes, so to speak. But at the same time, like I've learned, like I've had to like, kind of learn how to do this stuff, which is exciting. I love learning things and trying new stuff. So, I mean, everybody's in the same boat. So I think a lot of our, the people in that group, I think we have like 500, maybe 600 people in there now. Um, but they're enjoying the workouts and we're just trying to make it fun and keep it interesting for people. So, but yeah. I never thought I'd be like an audio video guy, but apparently I can, I can kind of hang a little bit. Well, uh, I want to thank you for coming into my room and talking to me today. Um, <laughs> yeah, man, your room's been thick. All right, everybody. All right, everybody. Thanks, Thanks so, so much. much. Ryan, Ryan, of course. Of course. Can't, Can't wait, wait to, to the 2021 20, 20, Olympics. Olympics or whenever, whenever these Tokyo, Tokyo Olympics, Olympics happen, happen, we're, we're, we're going to be uh, jazzed, jazzed for it. For um, it. And, and yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm so, so excited, excited about, about next week. week. I'm going to end tonight because I just want to get working on next week. It's going to be great. There's, There's like, like a, a creativity, creativity in the air, air that's, that's kind, kind of, of uh, uh, like I asked my dad, I asked my dad to, uh, I have a Ryan Nyquist action figure and I said, dad, could you take a photo of that Ryan Nyquist action figure that's in the basement? And not only did he take a photo, he made a, look at this. He sent, he set up a tripod and you know what the file was called? It's called Can Can, which is a BMX trip trick not what is happening here 
but because he's on a can, I, lo I like that. So, you know, whatever you're doing, go out this weekend, make something, have fun, be nice, nod at someone. Uh, and yeah, we're just excited to uh, come back to you next week. And um, when we, uh, wait a minute. Yeah. So until then, it looks like my rice is ready and uh, you know, we'll see you then. Also, big shout out to Brian Hunt, Ben Hiddle, Alistair Witten, Noel Wells, David Lackner, and Gab Muller. It has been a great week. It's going to be a great week next week. Thank you so much for coming, everybody. Breathe deep and drink a lot of water.